Alberta's economy is going to get a significant boost. Chemical giants Dow are investing $8.9 billion in their path to zero facility in Fort Saskatchewan. Today, I would say, is an example of how the federal and provincial and municipal governments can work together. And I'm hoping we can see a lot more of that. A pause from butting heads for all forms of government and a new step forward to meeting the federal and provincial goal of net zero emission. Dow's new facility, which is the largest investment in industrial heartland history, will see upgrades made to reduce emissions by expanding transportation and increasing storage facilities. It will serve as a leading example that industrial decarbonization is not only possible, but can also be profitable. The construction of the project will create between six to 7,000 jobs and is scheduled to begin in 2024. It's expected to take about three years to complete phase one and Dow says it will create four to 500 new jobs in Alberta to operate the facility. Dow CEO says this is a major step forward for the industry. If you think about what we're doing here, one large world scale hydrogen plant and carbon capture will decarbonize a facility that is 20% of my global capacity. The project will cost over $11 billion without government incentives or subsidies. Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland says companies willing to invest their own dollars to large projects like this one are eligible to apply for tax credits, but the amount is tiny compared to the costs of the project. Those tax credits we think will be worth around $400 million. From Fort Saskatchewan, Adam Zicarelli, City News.